Saving money in Christmas go together like oil and water. It doesn't. Spending is the name of the game, and each holiday, we make sure that we play it to the last penny. But what if I told you that this Christmas could be different? In this video, I'm going to give you 15 ways that you can save money this Christmas when saving seems impossible. So whether you're a big spender or just can't seem to keep that holiday budget, you clicked on the right video. And stick around until the end where I will give you a bonus tip that will help you get a jump on next Christmas. Everyone ready? Let's get started with number one, cash. Cash is still king. During the holiday season, we tend to get wrapped up in finding the perfect gift for our loved ones. We search for clues and keep our eyes peeled for any hints of what they might like. While this is fun, it absolutely kills our hopes of keeping to our budget because we're likely going to buy multiple gifts just to be sure that we got at least one thing that they will enjoy. Cash eliminates that stress. Yes, some may find it a weak way to give gifts, but it's a gift that many people prefer because they get to use the cash in a way that they know will benefit them. Cash is also great because you're sure that every penny of your money is going to get used up instead of tossed in the garage after it's unwrapped and used a couple times. Number 2. Leave the Kids As much as we love them, kids are budget devourers. Their adorable little selves are the epitome of impulse shopping. Anything that's colorful, loud, messy, or dangerous is their favorite thing and they absolutely must have it. Right then, no exceptions. If possible, allow someone else to watch the kids while you go out to shop this holiday season. Even if you're grocery shopping, consider leaving the kids at home because most advertising during Christmas is geared towards getting your child to want, ask, beg, and demand every item on display. Being able to focus on your shopping list will help you maintain the attitude of spending as little as possible. Number 3. Shop online early Shopping online has become very popular since the pandemic. I'm sure many of us have at least browsed an online store at some point in the last couple years. Shopping early has been a tip passed down for ages, but what happens when you put the two together? Shopping online early as opposed to shopping on Black Friday helps with your Christmas budget because you can not only compare prices across multiple stores from the comfort of your home, but you also get in on deals that will fade away once the holiday season is running at full speed. Also. Early shopping helps you avoid the problem of gifts not being delivered on time, seeing as many places are experiencing shipping issues. You don't want your budget annihilated because you had to spend more on shipping last-minute gifts. Number 4. Fake it. Hear me out. Faking in this case has to do with decorations. We spend billions on annual Christmas decorations, most of which we then repurchase the following year. Trees and wreaths are the main culprits here. We get a nice live tree and adorn it with ornaments, but a day or two after Christmas, we side-eye it because we hate having to get it to the curb in time for pickup. Not to mention take off every last ornament. This year, go for fate. Many artificial trees and wreaths even come pre-decorated and pre-lit. Yes, the real thing may look better in the photo, but a fake one looks better to your wallet. Number 5. Creative Wrapping if you've ever looked through old yearbooks or saw a school-related program from back in the day, you may have noticed that some kids had their books covered in brown paper bags. This was what they used to protect the covers from being damaged. Creative right? Wrapping paper is a necessity that shouldn't be a necessity, but is a necessity. We love the decorative paper and will even go so far as to have wrapping parties to include as many people as we can in the fun. But like anything else to do with Christmas shopping, wrapping paper can get expensive, especially if you're a big gift giver. So, this year, think outside the box. Look around the closets and garage to see what you have already that would make nice, creative wrapping paper. Not only will you save money, but your recipients will get a unique touch to their gifts. Number 6. Let tradition take a year off. Most families have traditions during Christmas. It may be a family trip to church or going out and cutting down the Christmas tree. Traditions are great and have a lot of value, but traditions can be budget killers that we tend to overlook because of the nostalgia attached. This year, give tradition a break and look for ways you can shake things up that will cost less. If the family loves to go to the movies during Christmas, try staying in and watching a classic. For instance, A Christmas Story plays on a loop Christmas Eve through Christmas Day. I'm not saying that has to be the movie you choose, but a simple scroll through the listings and I'm sure you'll find a free alternative. 
The tradition is based on family bonding, so look for ways to keep the bonding while saving money. Number 7. Use old gift cards. Many people never completely use up a gift card. One purchase and then it gets put in a drawer until it's finally thrown away. This Christmas, use the gift cards that still have money on them to buy gifts. A few dollars left on the card may not have seemed like a lot to you, but now that it can buy a simple gift, it's a valuable payment option. And if you have cards you haven't used because you don't shop at that store or eat at that restaurant, re-gift them. I understand that some people aren't comfortable re-gifting, but think about it, is the gift card doing more harm by going to someone who will use it or being thrown away with money left on it? Number 8. Sell some stuff. Many of us have clothes, tools, and toys that we simply don't use anymore. The thrill is gone, or we just never thought about it again. This Christmas, sell those items you don't use to get money for gifts and other Christmas spending. There are many sites and apps that allow you to snap a quick photo of the item, include some details, name your price, and clear out the clutter. And because many of them have location filters, you can sell your items locally, ensuring you won't get scammed, and the transaction can be done quickly. Number 9. Group Gifting Let's say that there's an awesome gift you want to get for your parents. You know they'll love it, but it's kind of expensive, and you're determined to come in under budget this year. One way to get the gift while keeping your spending in check is to go in on the gift with others. Allowing a big purchase to be made by a group of people as opposed to just yourself not only saves you money but opens the possibility of this way of giving becoming a new practice for all involved. No one will have to stress over not being able to get that perfect gift because the group will have decided to get that gift together. This also eliminates one-upmanship that can occur when big gifts are involved. Everyone remains equal and a big gift is given. Number 10. Ship Gifts Gas prices have made traveling a touchy subject this holiday season. Many may have already decided to stay home or as close to it as possible this year. Shipping gifts is an excellent way to save on travel, especially when it comes to far-off relatives. A lot of sites even offer gift services so that your gift isn't sent out like a standard heartless package. Also, shipping directly from the retailer instead of buying, bringing it home, and then shipping it saves a lot of money as many stores offer free shipping. Of course, we would love to hand the gifts out, but I'm sure we all have an understanding family that will appreciate the gift either way. Number 11. E-Cards Christmas cards are fun to give and fun to receive. Loved ones we may not see regularly send updated photos on the front of their cards or co-workers give us the funniest Christmas card we have ever read. Walls and mantles proudly display our assortment of cards each Christmas season. But e-cards offer more. Not only do we get photos and funny animals, but we save money because e-cards cut out the need for actual printing and mailing. Many sites like Canva will allow you to design your own one-of-a-kind card and download it for free. From there, you can send it out to as many people as you'd like, no cost. We are in a digital age where many things we used to have to lick a stamp to send off can be sent off with a couple of clicks. E-cards offer affordability, flexibility, and creativity that traditional Christmas cards lack. Number 12. Use shopping apps. Whether it is an app that gives you rewards for receipts or a store app that gives you deals for using it, apps are a great way to cut costs during the Christmas season. Customer loyalty benefits are often a feature of store apps because they know that their competitors could easily grab your attention otherwise. And the convenience of having an app on your phone allows you to quickly compare prices and deals without having to venture out. Number 13. Use your credit card points. Before I get into this point, let me remind you that credit cards are a dangerous tool to use during Christmas shopping. They make it too easy to overspend. Debit cards, cash, and gift cards should be your first lines of payment during Christmas. But many of us accumulate rewards points over the course of the year that we simply do not use. Now is the time to pull them out. Credit card companies love for you to spend what they give you. That's what keeps them in business. So if you've racked up points, see what they can be exchanged for. You'd be amazed at how many places you can use your credit card rewards points. Number 14. Have a virtual Christmas. We are connected in more ways than ever. In less than a second, a message can go from Tokyo to New York. Technology is that good. So why not use this to your advantage as you look to save money this Christmas? I'm sure we all have our core group who we always celebrate with. They're pulling up no matter what the gas price is, 
But what about those who are just a little too far to make it this year? Virtual Christmas parties are quickly becoming a trend as the pandemic has unleashed Zoom and other virtual meeting sites on the world. The benefit of this is that you can have large groups of people together at one time, and it costs you nothing but data. So keep the shindig, but just make it a virtual one. It may take some getting used to at first, but you'll be happier when you see that you made it through Christmas with your savings intact. Now, before I get into my final tip and special bonus tip, for those of you who stick around until the very end, I'd like to thank you for checking out the video, and if you found any value in any of these tips, be sure to give this video a like. I post money-saving videos regularly, so if you don't want to miss out on any of my tips, consider subscribing and turn on notifications. And don't forget to share your own money-saving tips in the comment section below. Thank you again. And now, number 15, check for price adjustments. This final tip can be tricky because you must read the fine print when purchasing. Many items go on sale after Christmas and stores will do a price adjustment for you. Again, you must make sure that your store participates in it and that there are no exclusions. Along the same lines, many stores do price matching so keep an eye out for that as well. This tip is more in-depth than the others, but it is worth it. And as promised, a bonus tip that you can use this year that will ensure you have a less stressful Christmas next year. Open a Christmas savings account. Why not plan today for what you know is coming? The savings from this year can give you a head start next year by placing them in a dedicated Christmas account. You know Christmas is going to come again and you know you're going to want to spend again, so even if it's a small amount, you'll be less stressed next holiday season if you put something aside now. This money can help you jump on deals that may come throughout the year or at least allow you to snag early holiday deals without worrying about where the money is coming from.